Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing a Bath & Body Works candle haul and a little bit of soaps and some other stuff, but mostly the candles. So if you guys would like to see what candles I picked up on Candle Day, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for those of you guys that do not know, Candle Day is usually on December 1st and it only happens once a year. And Bath & Body Works candles usually range from $24.50, I believe. And that day specifically, they're gonna they were $8.95. Plus, you get to use a 20% coupon if you got it in the email. And then if you got coupons in the mail, which I got some, um, I believe it was $15 off $45, you can use those as well. So you can get the candles even way cheaper. So, yeah. So a lot of the malls were opening at 7 a.m., and some of the single bath and body works were opening at 3 a.m. So I was currently working that day and I work night shift. So I asked my charge nurse if I can go on my lunch break and she said yeah. So me and my other coworker went and we like drove down to Bath and Body Works and it was insane guys. Like who is up at 3 a.m.? It was crowded, long lines already. It was just a mess. But we ended up getting our candles, so that's all that counts. But yeah, that day it was just madness. Like the lines were so long, they went outside, and people were walking out with their candles outside in line. I know some of them dipped, and I don't know how people can do that, but some of them dipped with like two of those cartons of candles. So that's like what twelve candles each. People were like just leaving, and then. The workers there did not notice until like 15 minutes later. They had both of their doors wide open. So people were just like freely walking out and it was just madness. So finally they closed one door and they only opened one side of the other door. And they told them to leave their candles inside and then like go make a line outside. So yeah. Anyways, the moral of the story was that it was just a day for madness because everyone goes crazy. I mean, who does not want to get $8.95 candles? For me, I got some for like 7 something with coupons. And then with my um, 40 off, 15 off 40, I think some of them came out to like 5 something. So it was like super cheap, guys. Like super cheap. So yeah, enough blabbering. I'm going to show you which candles I picked up. I do have two bags. I didn't get that many, but enough. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So I am currently burning one of my faves, my all-time faves, which is Fresh Balsam. If you guys have never smelled this, this smells like a Christmas tree and it's a must-have. I can burn this candle year-round, but once December hits, you want to light this up and it'll smell your house up like a Christmas tree. And yeah, by far my favorite candle is. I don't want to burn my nose hairs, but... first candle that I picked up is hot cocoa and cream and this is made with nutmeg and sandalwood essential oils with notes of milk chocolate and steamed milk that is what it looks like and guys this straight up smells like chocolate I am not really a big fan of chocolate smell but I thought for the holidays this will be one to give away maybe my sister I mean it smells good but damn you know, Bath & Body Works candles are like super potent. So yeah, I picked up hot chocolate and cream. The next candle that I picked up is Mahogany Tipwood. And this has rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. And you guys, if you guys have never smelled this scent, it smells like a man. Like a man cologne. And I just thought the packaging was really cute, but oh, oh my god. If you're feeling lonely, this is the candle for you. But yeah, it just smells so good. Okay, the next candle that I picked up is Mahogany Coconut. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this has creamy coconut, mahogany woods, and English lavender. And this straight up smells like a pina colada to me. 
with that like perfume scent at the end I don't know how to explain it and a hint of lavender so it just smells really good I would consider this like a fruity slash musk smell if you guys are into musk like it has a fruity scent in the beginning and then after it like gives a strong odor but it smells really yummy guys Okay guys, the next candle that I got is Fresh Basel, and it is the one that I'm currently burning, and this is by far my favorite fragrance, so you know your girl had to stock up. Now let me tell you how crazy I am about Fresh Basel. Have you ever seen these little sprays? This is what my room constantly is smelling like. I just spritz, spritz this one and Camp Marshmallow Fireside are by far my favorites. The next candle that I picked up is another of my faves that I was talking about earlier, Marshmallow Fireside, and this is made with cedarwood and Palo Santo essential oils with notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. Guys, if you guys have never smelled this, it's like the perfect sweetest candle. It's not like too potent of sweetness, but it's just the right amount of sweet. And this just reminds me of like sitting by a campfire roasting marshmallows, but not like the smoky part, but just the marshmallow part. Oh my god. I swear, if you buy a fresh balsam spray with marshmallow fireside spray, which I have both of them, and mix them, it just smells so delicious, guys. Like if you're roasting marshmallows in the woods. So I really recommend these candles. By the way, if I sound awkward and like slowly talking and kind of whispering, it's because it's 1am right now and people are asleep and they're gonna wake up pretty soon and tell me that I'm crazy. Next candle is another backup by Fresh Basel but in different packaging. And look how cute this packaging is guys. So the next scent is Champagne Toast and guys this is like such a wonderful Christmas scent as well. They only bring it out during Christmas, I don't know why, but this has bubbly champagne, sparkling berries and juicy tangerine and it just smells like a New Year's Eve party. Like you're all glitzy with your little dress, drinking your little champagne. That's what this reminds me of. And look at the packaging, guys. It just reminds you of like a New Year's Eve party. But yeah, they only bring this candle out during December. Not just the candle, but like the whole collection, like the sprays and the lotion and everything. So, definitely a must pick up that I had to get. <sighs> it just smells lovely. Okay, guys, so I'm down to my last candle and. The last candle that I picked up is Snowflakes and Citrus, and this is made with orange and lemon essentials with notes of sweet mango. This is what the packaging looks like. And it just smells like you're on a cruise to somewhere tropical. Where there's a lot of fruits like mangoes, pineapples. It just smells so yummy, guys. But yeah, such an awesome fragrance. All right, guys. So that was it for my candles. Um, I did pick up eight of them. I um, one of my totals for five of them came out to like thirty dollars and then the other one came out to like 25 but that was because I made two separate transactions because you can't use the coupons all at the same time so I used I made two transactions and that's how it came out to that so I ended up wasting like around 50 but I had a gift card so yeah um but yeah let's move on to the other stuff that I have, have been buying for gifts and stuff it's been like on their daily sales like during Christmas or when it's getting closer to the holidays 
they have the best sales like on their lotions their body washes everything like they have separate days for separate sales so that's what I've been slowly like picking up so I'll add it to this haul so if you guys want to keep on watching then just keep on watching okay so the other day they had the soaps for I want to say three fifty or something like that or two ninety five I don't remember but it was around there um <clears throat> I wanted some new fragrances for Christmas and I am gonna pull one reach for one the first one that I picked up is Mary Berry Kiss and it's the blooming kind and this one's almost gone but anyways it smells like winter berries snowy vanilla and crystallized ginger and this smells like a frosted cranberry scent very Christmassy So the next one that I picked up is Arctic Berry, and this is in the Creamy Lux because I love how sparkly it looks, and it doesn't say which ingredients it has, but, oh, snow-kissed berries, iced pomegranate, and cedar wood. And this smells like very delicious. It smells like pure, straight up berries. But yeah, I love the packaging. The next one that I picked up is Cherry Chill, and it's also in the Creamy Lux because, like I said, I love how glitzy and pretty the soap looks, and the packaging is like the cutest. And this has black cherries, vanilla bean, and frozen juniper. This straight up smells like cherry. If you guys have smelled cherry Marilot candle, that's what this smells like, which reminds me I should have got that candle because that's one of my other favorite candles and I didn't pick it up. Darn. <coughs> the last soap that I picked up is Fresh Sparkling Snow, and this has Icy Melon, Holiday, Pear, and Falling Snow. I'm not sure what Falling Snow smells like, but. literally just smells like winter and pear like but yeah once again it is those creamy luxe collection which is all shiny pretty cute and yeah I picked up these cute soaps from the bathroom because these are the only kind of soaps that I can use like I've mentioned before I can't go back to any other soap because once you've tried these you can't live without them Okay guys, so on another day, they had the sprays for like $5 I believe, and I had a coupon as well. You know me, I like saving, so I think they came out to like 3 something. But I picked up 5 of them and I, like I said, I'm starting to pick up gifts, so everyone loves to smell good. So the first spray that I got is A Thousand Wishes. Yeah. Doesn't say what it has in it, but it smells pretty good. That's all I know. I usually like to make like little um wrap up like really cute, like add socks, a spray, a lippy and candy. That's what I usually do for gifts. Really simple. And then the next fragrance that I picked up is Champagne Toast because, like I said, this only comes out during the holidays. And this is my sister's favorite smell from Bath & Body Works, so I did pick up one for her. And then I picked up an extra one for someone else. Don't know who yet. And then I picked up Magic in the Air. This is another good smelling one. And then lastly, I picked up Forever Red. So this is an old fragrance, and it came back for like, I think just December. But it smells like sophisticated. But yeah, I picked up these five. 
and I'm gonna make little care packages for Christmas. Um, if you guys would like to see a little video on little gift baskets, I guess that's what you would consider it, little gift baskets, how to make them and what to put in them, then just comment down below and I'll make a video on that. Okay guys, so on another day, they had the wallflowers, the refills for $3 and I do know someone that loves these and I picked some up for them for Christmas. I picked up three. The scent that I picked up is Snowflakes and Citrus. It's a little blue color. You can't really smell it through the package. And then I picked up Black Cherry, <laughs> Black Cherry Marilot. Like I said, this one smells bomb. So it's a purple. And then, so they can remember me, this is my favorite scent. I picked it up in Fresh Blossom. So yeah. Then with Bath & Body Works, if you have an app, you scan it every time you make a purchase and the more you buy, the more rewards you get. So I did get two rewards, so I'll show you what I picked up. So the reward is up to $16.50 and girl, if you guys have those rewards, you guys can use them on the gift sets because I asked the lady that day, I was like, if this is $16.50, then can I use my reward? She was like, yeah, girl. So I picked up this cute little package. Look how cute this is, guys. I don't know who I'm going to give this to, but it comes with a lotion and a shower gel, but there's different sets with different designs on them, and I just thought this pink one was cute, so this is what it looks like. And this comes out to $16.50 as a set. <clears throat> and these are usually $12.50 singles, so that's a steal. But yeah, this is so cute. And then the next thing, well, the last thing that I picked up with my other reward is this wallflower with the butterfly. And it was originally $12.50, but I got it for free. And usually, I think these are expensive, paying $12.50 for a plug-in, but if it's a reward, then I'm Gucci. So yeah, I picked this up for the person that I'm going to be giving the wallflowers to. So yeah, cute. Alright guys, so hours after, my video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And sorry I rambled on throughout this video, but girl, but yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.